I'm back once again with another video and this is going to be a foundation review slash demo on the Lancome Miracle Cushion. So for many of you ladies that do not know, Lancome had launched this very unique foundation, um, I believe about mm, two or three months ago. Please don't quote me on that, but I believe it, it's been around that time. So if you have been watching my channel, you know I am a fan of Lancome products. I've been using their skincare line for about six or seven years. So I love their products. So it was a no brainer to try out their foundation, especially a new one. So I purchased this uh, foundation, I will say about three weeks ago. I really wanted to try it and see how it wear before I came on here and gave you my thoughts about it. So I believe I paid uh, $46.50 for it. Yeah, I think it was around that amount, but I will have all the links in the description bar. You can see how much the price is for this foundation. So this foundation is in a compact and it's supposed to be a uh, sheer to buildable coverage. I would say you can get away with building this to a medium. A medium to me seems like that's too much if you go over it will tend to look too cakey this is how the packaging looks. it looks like a compact once you open it up it comes with a mirror and a foundation sponge now please don't mind my <laughs> don't mind my foundation sponge I've been using this so yeah and then once you lift that off this is how the product looks so I'm going to start out with the concept they were genius for coming up with this concept. Like, I know it's been many of times I really wanted to travel with my foundation, however, afraid of breaking it or it's spilling everywhere. So this was perfect to put in a compact. So you can go ahead and throw this in your purse and travel with this to do touch-ups, etc. So that was a plus. Another thing I like about this foundation is that it is a buildable coverage. It says that you can build it up to a full coverage, but I personally would recommend only doing a medium, but it is a buildable coverage. It is lightweight and it just looks really radiant. It makes your skin look really, really radiant. I love that. Another thing I love about this foundation is that it has so many different colors for uh, women of color and if you are into makeup you already know that Lancome caters to women of color as far as what color range so nine times out of ten you can find a color that best suit you i like that they were able to come out with a foundation that catered to all skin types so if you're dry to oily skin you can wear this foundation but i just recommend all the oily sisters to set this powder and I typically set this powder with the MAC translucent powder I feel like those two combination works really well together it makes the found it doesn't take away from the look and the color so if you do decide to get this I will highly recommend you trying it out with a translucent powder first and see how you like it the only thing I do not like about the foundation is the price. And I paid close to $50 for this foundation and I only got 0 0.50 ounces. Now, Lancome is known to be on more of the pricier side, but they really give you a bang for your buck. So you get the amount of product, you get a good amount of product for the price that you pay. So I'm a little on the fence with the price. I feel like if they drop it at least 10, $10, 10 to $15 for me. So around the 30 to 35, $36 range, I feel will be more reasonable. But other than that, I really do like it. Um, would I recommend it? Absolutely. I feel like this is a great foundation. So that completes my review for this foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the demo if you would like to see how it applies. And I will talk to you soon. So I'm going to lightly tap it into the foundation and I'm just going to press it into my skin.
So this is the part I want you to pay attention to because when I uh, explained earlier that this is only buildable up to a medium coverage, around my nose I have a scar and as you can see I've already placed probably two, um, two coatings of the foundation on that area and you can still see the uh, scarring and if I do place another coating on there it's going to look like I have a lot of foundation on so that's why I said that it's you know it, it doesn't benefit you to build it up to a full coverage because you're just going to look like you have a lot of product just sitting on your face. So here's the finish after applying the foundation. It looks really natural. It matches my skin tone really well, but I don't know if you can see the scarring around my nose. So I will advise you if you have any problems with uh, acne scarring or blemishes to conceal first and then apply a light layer of this foundation. That would uh, tend to work more than just trying to use the foundation to cover up any heavy scarring is it for my review on this foundation so ladies if you have tried this out please leave some of your comments in the comment section below and let me know what you think about this product uh, would you recommend it and if for some who don't like it please put in the comment section the reason for you not liking this product that really helps other ladies who are browsing this channel to you know basically get a feel of different opinions on it I had no problems with it but as you know everyone has different experience with different products so the more feedback the better for everyone so I thank you so much for tuning into my channel don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and share this video so until next time be confident and be your own kind of beautiful and i will see you in my next video bye